I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap your crew. I roll out in the morning light, whip that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my press. Hey, what's up, guys? Darkbreaker here, and in today's video. We are gonna cover Akshan, one of the best mid laners right now. You have been asking me for new build for patch 2.6b, if I'm not wrong, b, uh, b, a, whatever, new patch, hey. So, Akshan didn't really get nerfed too much, he's still very strong. Um, definitely early game a little bit weaker, but overall I would still say his damage on the third ability is giga broken, and they didn't change that fact. So early game, uh, in the laning phase, he might not be as obnoxious as before, but he's still definitely a very strong champion and with great 1 with 9 potential in solo queue. Item build. In this game, we're actually going to go for an on-hit build. Um, you could definitely go charge blade instead of wit's end, but they had a lot of AP damage, so I'm using the wit's end uh, build instead. So this is an on-hit build, which has great synergy with his passive. It's going to be Blade of the Rune King, attack damage, attack speed, physical vamp, and bonus physical damage, percentage, HP damage. With sand, attack speed, magic resistance, and bonus damage per auto attack, and also some healing when you're below 50%. Uh, Infinity Edge for the crit rate and the crit damage. Then Rune and Terrican, which has pretty good synergy for Akshan. Because all of his auto attacks will splash, which is gonna be uh, gonna do so much damage in team fights, and his boomerang also splashes, so uh, tons of splashing damage and tons of AOE damage coming from Akshan. And then obviously Mortal Reminder or Cerida's Grudge for the armor penetration, uh, Mortal Reminder for the anti heal, and Cerida's Grudge for ability haste and the slow effect. But if you guys don't want that, you can also go charge plate. Or oh, I think it's like this then. So this is the non-on-hit build. And this is the on-hit build. But yeah. I'm gonna use this one because they have a lot of AP damage. For the runes, Conqueror, Brutal, Adaptive Carapace, Brutal for the early game, more AD. Uh, adaptive Carapace for the early game laning phase as well for the first blood. It's pretty good. And then Sweet Tooth for healing and extra gold. And for the spells, Ignite, Flash for the playmaking potential and for the kill, uh, kill threat. Let's hop right into the game. It's on the Daddy Breaker account. Let's go. Um, skill order is gonna be you max your third ability, then the first ability and then the second ability. You put two points into the first ability. And then you max the third ability. You, ju you just want the two points into the first ability for better wave clear. And for the early game harassment. But afterwards you just go for the third ability. Which um, scales with crit now. Or I mean it can crit now. Which is a huge buff compared to before. If I'm not wrong, in low PC the third ability heroic swing. It doesn't even crit. It can't crit. And he's still very good on PC as well. I guess, I just guess because the items like I think the collector or something like that. So you have two items that are pretty good on Akshan, which you don't even have in Wild Rift. I think it's the collector and the other item. I don't I don't even know the name anymore. But yeah, the third ability being able to crit is huge. Okay, he knows Amumu is here. Amumu. Amumu. Okay, now Evelyn knows that Amumu tried to steal the blue buff. I delayed him. He's not gonna attempt it anymore. Maybe, hopefully. Okay, early gank. Is that gonna work? Ooh, nice damage. I'm gonna try to shove the wave and then I'm gonna come for Amumu. I'm actually getting the second ability right now, just so I can join quicker. Otherwise I wouldn't done, uh, do this play. 
Oh. Wait, is he gonna die? Ignite, come on, ignite. Yes, we got that kill. Let's go. So, Rome already worth it. I'm gonna reset right here. Go for the components of Blade of the Rune King. We also already got the bow, so we can just go for the mid lane right here. While you're invisible, you also get movement speed. So that's why I got the second ability. Just so I can join quicker. Oh, gang coming in. Let's see. Look at the damage. Okay. Ultimate? Come on, die. 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 We got that kill. Let's go. One thing you need to be cautious about when it comes to the ultimate is definitely that it can be blocked by other people and by uh, objectives like the turret. Person ability can splash for each target it hits, it uh, it travels further. Second ability, when you kill someone who already kills uh, one of your teammates, he counts as a scoundrel and then you are gonna revive the people that the scoundrel killed. Third ability can reset when you kill someone or someone else. I mean, when the person die, when one person dies, you get a reset on the heroic swing. Also, if you mark them before with the first ability, every hit of the heroic swing is gonna hit them. So in the laning phase, when you're trading, you wanna land one out attack first onto the opponent, then you can use heroic swing into them, and every single hit from heroic swing. Uh, of the third ability is gonna hit them, otherwise it won't hit them and it, it will splash uh, onto minions instead as well. Ooh, this will be so close. We get the kill, we get the heroic swing, are we out of here? That was clutch. Clutch breaker. But yeah, that's basically it for the abilities of Akshan. And the ultimate can also crit now. Okay, final dragon's up, let's reset. 4-0-0, zero, zero, doing pretty fucking sexy right now. I think I'm gonna get Mercury because they have the, they have so much CC. Morgana, Annie, Amumu, and okay, Camille doesn't matter. I like <laughs> the ultimate. When I get ultimate, I'm dead anyways. Ay ay ay. Against Camille ultimate, you wanna buy Zonyas. So during the ultimate, you can use it, or before she used it on you, you can like while she's using and jumping onto you, you can use Zonyas, and then you can block the ultimate. Basically, we we took a lot of damage there. I'm gonna try to fly coming from behind right here. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna use my heroic swing right onto them. We get the double kill. Heroic swing. I fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what I should have done. Okay, this one nice. And now the heroic swing instead of. Going for it into the into the wall, I should have went this way. If I went this way, I kill him and then I can use heroic swing back. So instead of going this way, this direction, go this direction and we get the kill and then we dash back again. So that's the misplay. If you guys are wondering what I tried there, he was sitting right. <laughs> he was he was sitting right behind the turret. I tried to flash. So I get an angle where I can hit him, but the minions blocked it. I forgot the minions also blocked the ultimate now. Or even before. Meh. That was scuffed. Like I said, just doing heroic swing better, I kill him. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. I mean, that comes when you don't play this champion too much. Like, I think uh, Akshan that is used to playing this champion and would have gotten that kill. I would say Akshan is not that hard to play, but the skill ceiling can be pretty high because of the positioning with the second ability and the timing, the timing of the heroic swing when to go in. And how to go in. Because you can dash in, dash out, dash in, dash out. Just by uh, killing people. And securing kills. Oh no. Ultimate? Let's see. 
Okay, it got cancelled already. We can go for any. Ooh, she's gonna end up surviving actually. They're very low. Let's see if we can kill someone here. They're very low. No! No way! Okay, we can I think we can kill her. I have my swing soon. Come on. No, 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 no! How unlucky is that shit? How unlucky. I think we are gonna, yeah, we are at least gonna secure the Inferno. So, still pretty good team fight, and we got the Inferno, so overall, it's fine. But kill wise, or score wise, it's still pretty close. It's 9 10 in favor of the Red Slide team. So, very close game, honestly. And I need to be careful because of the engage. Camille ultimate, any protobult, flash ultimate, Morgana binding, Amumu ultimate. I need to be really, really cautious about my positioning. Because if I get caught, I'm... I don't have Zonya, so I instantly die. Let's see if she wants to commit for this one. I don't, I don't feel this. You're already super low. Yeah, she's gonna die here. I don't think it, it's a good idea. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I don't know about that call. I think it was in call. Because she was already very low and she still forced it. So obviously she will get collapsed and just die for free though. I didn't mean to use it that way by the way. I meant to use it the other way. No, die, 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 die. Okay, I can got her. Wait, she secured the Herald. Nice. And we got the first turret. Overall, 2 for 1, first turret, and we got Herald. Not too bad. It didn't go optimal. I didn't mean to use it this way, by the way. I meant to use it the other way. You can definitely tell that I'm not... Um, not proficient, or should I say comfortable, using the her Heroic Swing. Because sometimes I still use it into the wrong direction, even if I meant to use it into the other direction. So I guess that's something uh, which comes down to having more experience or more games on Akshan. So you don't do this misplace anymore. Like, definitely... Um, when it comes to champions that I don't play, I would say micro-wise, uh, one-trick ponies are obviously way better than me because they play those champions a lot and I don't play. Uh, can I kill her? Oh, we still got her, nice. Because micro-wise, I don't have the games to be as good as OTPs, but I think I make up for it by just having good uh, macro. Uh, understanding how to position myself and how to play those team fights and how to rotate on the map. So if you have this already, then it's very easy for you just to learn the champion and use it proficiently after a short amount of games. So I would always say macro or understanding how to play the game, how to position yourself, how to play the team fight is way more important than just micro stuff because most champions are not that hard micro wise is it because it's it's wild drift it's not like pc where it's super super hard and this <laughs> i'm talking about this and i'm doing this play now oh my god i forgot i did this play oh i almost got the double there it was close i'm gonna end up dying here i'm gonna give shut down here right yeah i'm gonna end up dying here i'm dead as fuck I can't escape. Because that's the second ability and that's the turret. <laughs> I'm just dead. Um, that turret swing in there, that was, that was in play. That was in play. Just in play. Oh, they're all gonna die here. Oh, they're getting so many kills. It's so bad. 
Because they get so many... They get one, one fucking big shot on from me. And they get dragon now as well. Oh, Alyssa, please don't go in. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Now he goes in. Wait, why was he not there in the last team fight? Wait, let me check. Was he dead? Like, they fought there so early. He was there. He went in early without me. They started. Akali is low. Jin using ultimate. Okay, Alyssa already died. Yeah, Evelyn is not here, but Kami is also not here. Yeah, whatever. And now he's going in and he's just gonna end up dying. I should have played it differently. Like maybe try to use the second ability and come from behind and flank. Or come from here and flank, kill someone and then dash out. Instead of just using heroic swing in. Okay. Woo! You dead! You, oh my god! She goes in. I don't know about that one, buddy. I don't know about this play. I don't know. I don't feel it. How long are they there? 24 seconds, which is gonna. Baron's gonna spawn. Oh my god. Oh lord, have mercy. This is not good at all. This is not good. And Jin is not even here. If, if this guy dies, that would be huge. Yeah, he dies. Let's go. That, that was big. Now they can go for Baron anymore. Okay, Kami is low. I don't think I can chase her. Just gonna jump over. Oh, Jin got that shutdown on Annie. That's big. If Evelyn... Yeah, if Evelyn comes, you can go for Baron. Just go Baron. Alistair, no! Ah, piss off! Just go for Baron. I think we can go for Baron. If they just group now. I'm just clearing this wave because it's pretty big. And now they have to clear the mid wave while we can rush it. Come on, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Let's go, team. Okay, that's nice. We get it, we secured. Uh, I'm gonna reset, get the runes. You can cancel Heroic Swing as well mid air. Forgot to mention this one. Otherwise, do I need to mention something? I guess when you're running to a scounter, you get movement speed. Otherwise, no. I think I've covered everything we need. I mean, this champion is like all about positioning and knowing when and where to flank. When to go, go in, from where to go in. And then, how to use the heroic swing in teamfights. I think that's mainly about... How the issue of how to play him, but otherwise he's pretty easy to play. Ooh, very good play. I shouldn't have done this, by the way. I'm gonna die here. But I, I'm gonna show you what I should have done here. Wait a second. I think I just I panicked there. I got binded. That's why you Sonya's. I should have waited for the binding and not use Zonyas too early. Because even if I flash now, he can follow with the ultimate and I don't have Zonyas. So I should have waited for him to use ultimate and then use Zonyas. And first use flash. And if he follows with the ultimate, I use Zonyas. Maybe I could have survived then. But yeah, they're gonna get the tier 3 turret at least. Me getting hit by the binding literally secured the death. Option one, maybe I wait for the binding to run out. I flash, Kami follows with the ultimate, I use Sonya's, and then maybe I can survive. That's the only way. If I played, op that would be the optimal play, and it's still not secure if I could survive. So yeah, getting hit by binding literally cost. Oh, I should have flashed the binding.
If I just flash the binding, I survive. Or I just... <laughs> I mean, I, I was mid-air, I was using a uh, heroic swing in. And I couldn't react in time. Because the moment I use heroic swing in, I use my auto attack. And while using your passive auto attack, you stand still. And then I couldn't move anymore. I don't know. Okay, nice ultimate by Jin. Option A, dodge the binding, flash the binding, and then use Sonya's only when Camille used her ultimate. Or why she use, uh, using uh, why she's using it. And then I should be fine. Okay. Okay, Morgana low life, Morgana low life, Morgana dead. He's gonna go in. Oh, I'm gonna try to dash out and nah, never mind to get it. He's gonna end up dying. Ah, uh, I tried to use heroic swing onto the turret. The dead turret. But I didn't aim correctly. But yeah, I think that's gonna be game. I have ultimate, I'm gonna use Zonyas. And and he dead. Let's go. That's great for the gameplay on action. Definitely a few moments where I didn't play it good. And I could have done it better. But I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. And make sure to not miss out on any future videos. Tomorrow, new video. Don't miss it, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.